The Cheese Boy 628 Show, starring Cheese Boy 628. Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Cheeseboy628 here today giving you an OU tier Pokemon showdown battle. And this is actually versus my buddy Jiggle Physics, also known as Nathan. And he's wanted me to upload this for a while now, so I thought I'd finally do such. So my team here is actually given to me by my buddy Gara OTD23. It consists of Life Orb Arcanine, Sylveon as my special wall, Custab Bleed Fortress, Mega Absol, Sash Zam, and Sub 3 Attack Gengar. Now I just want to say I don't really understand the Custab Bleed Fortress. I understand that you take away some EVs to bring it down to its sturdy so it can get off one more move with its Custab. But what makes it a better lead than Skarmory? I think Skarmory's better speed makes it better as a Custap lead, but you guys can let me know what you think. But anyway, looking at my opponent's team, I see that Galvantula, and it's going to set up some sticky web, and that's going to be very annoying, so I want to spin that way as soon as possible. He does have two potential Megas, but I'm thinking his Mega's probably going to be Mawile, because Wiles would use Mawile. So if I can get the sticky web out of here and take out Mega Mawile, I should be good. So let's see how this battle goes. So I know my opponent is going to start out with his Galvantula to get the sticky web up as soon as possible, so I'm going to bring in Fortress to make sure I can spin that away as soon as possible. But he does a huge chunk to me with that thunder so I'm thinking I need to switch out and possibly preserve my fortress for later when I can actually spin it away. So he actually is going to go for the sticky web as I have my Sylveon in, I'm able to go for the moon blast, do some nice damage, and he's able to go for the volt switch out into his Ferrothorn. I go for the moon blast on the incoming Ferrothorn and it does not do enough where I feel comfortable staying in. I'm thinking a gyre ball could do a considerable amount to me if I do stay in. So I'm going to go out to my fortress and he's going to protect as he gets the leech seed on me the previous turn and unfortunately I am just so smart that I go for the nice rapid spin. First off I lost my Custap and then second I die from rocky helmet plus iron barbs so the hazards are still there. So unfortunately the sticky web will stay up and my pokes will be super slow except for Gengar so this is not exactly what I wanted. So all of my pokes are going to be one stage slower than I really prefer so I'm not going to have a huge advantage over these more offensive pokes. So here this Ferrothorn is going to eat up my close combat and give me so much residual damage but I don't even care. I'm going to close combat until this thing dies. He thinks it's real cheeky and can go for two protects just so I get some more sandstorm. Even though it really doesn't matter. I'm just like, F it. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz. Easily take out the Ferrothorn, but I'm going to go down as well. So now I bring in Gengar as he brings in his Mawile. And I'm not in the best position because I can sub down all I want. He's going to predict that and go for the Iron Head. And the problem is... I could go for the Shadow Ball and I'll be fine doing a decent amount, but I probably won't kill it. Mawile with HP investment is pretty darn bulky. Look at that, it's hardly a 2-hit KO. He goes for the Iron Head, easily takes me out. So now I have to come in with my Alakazam here and I do care the HP Fire, so I'm going to be very safe and just hit him with it. If he breaks my Sash, it's not a big deal. But now I have to go for the Focus Blast on this T-Tar because that's the only thing that will take him out even from that range. But thankfully I do hit him and I do outspeed even though I'm at minus one so that T-Tar has like no speed investment whatsoever. Now the Galvantula comes in and I do have my Special Wall Sylveon still alive so I might as well bring it in to take a hit and preserve Zam's Sash. And I want to go for the Protect here. Nope, that's not going to happen, so I'm going to lose my Sylveon to that Thunder, and unfortunately I go down. Now the Scarchomp is in, and I do have my Absol, I do carry the Sucker Punch, and this is really my only option to go for, I have no other option to SD or Night Slash or anything of the sort. He straight up goes with the Outrage, I do have Zam left, but it is Sashed and at minus 1 speed, so after that hit, I'm going to go down to 1 HP. Take him out with a Psy Shock, but at this point, his Alakazam is able to easily revenge me, and that will be a 2-0 victory in my buddy Nathan's favor. So that was a great game, Nathan, and I hope you all enjoyed. I made a few misplays with that sticky web. If I played around it better, I probably would have had a better chance in this match. But nonetheless, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, sub, and until later, peace.